Alright, so today we are going to have a boot comparison and a video render comparison between this, the old T410, and the new T430. So we'll start with the T410, we'll start it up. And I'm going to do the comparison at, not the BIOS boot splash here, but when I hit enter at the Windows System Restore, or the, the boot manager here. So I'm gonna get my timer ready. Here's the start button. This is the start button. Ready, set, go. See how long it takes for it to boot. To the login screen, that's what I'll do. All right, so that was about 14 seconds. Not bad, not bad at all. Three, two, one, go. You can see this a little better, so I'm not gonna raise the camera. All right, so that was about 10 seconds. I'm gonna say 11, I'm gonna round it up. That's a three second difference. It's not much but that is still a noticeable improvement. It feels faster. Alright, so I found a nice short file. I'm not going to bother with the audio because I don't think it matters that much. So we'll just go ahead and make this movie. This is the 410. Well, I'm not going to be keeping this Windows install, so I can save it to wherever I please. We'll say HD 1920... Mm -hmm. Let's use... Yeah, HD 1920 by 1080 30p, because I know I've got that preset on both machines, so it'll be the same preset. So we'll go ahead and see how long that takes. We'll go over here and try this one at the same time, just to expediate this thing a bit. Well, it says shocking right in the title, but I was not expecting the difference to be as shocking as it was. This machine took about two minutes to render this, what is this, this is a couple of seconds long, about 20 second long video there, which is kind of appalling, and it was rendering it to an SSD. The new system over here took just a minute and a half, which is still not all that great and it was saving it to a USB 3.0 external hard drive. So I'd imagine that saving it to an SSD might be a little bit faster. So if it could shave half of a minute off of something like that, I expect that maybe it will shave about two or three minutes off of a fully full length video. That's pretty significant. That's a lot of time because those minutes can then be used uploading the video and it can be out sooner. That's the benefit I see. All right, so I think that's pretty much all that I need to say is so I can shut this one off because I'm actually going to be reinstalling Windows on it. But before I finish off the video, I wanna point out a couple of other things, a couple of first impressions. So far, the system itself, I like it. It is fast, the screen is impressively bright, Actually, it's really bright compared to this one, and doesn't have as much of a... This thing seems to have more of a pink hue to it than this does. But I guess I thought the same when I upgraded this one in the first place, so... I'm liking the USB 3.0. It's a lot faster than uh, USB 2.0. Uh, but the one thing I knew I wasn't going to like when I first got it, and I pretty much... I really just don't... I don't like it as much as the old one, is the, the keyboard. It's not the worst keyboard in the world. I've used worse. But it's not the same when you compare it to something like this. Now let's see if I can open up Notepad on right here. This just feels so much better. This is a real keyboard. And this one just feels like even the finish is different. The finish feels sort of like plastic. 
This is plastic too, but this one actually has got, you know, the old style finish to it. It's got a, a texture where it's not rubbed off. This one doesn't even have a texture. Maybe a little bit of a texture, but not much of a texture. So it's just plastic, really. I guess I could get used to it, but I do like the old keyboard. It is possible to put the old style keyboard into this, but I don't really want to mess with it because I just don't, I don't feel like it's worth my time to mess around with it. So we're just going to have to live with it. And I'd rather get used to this because anything I'm going to buy after this is going to have this kind of keyboard on it anyways. So there you go. So there's a couple of initial impressions and a speed test. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then, get out of here, Jack.